and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another full owned TBR. This is where I collate every single book that I own into one place and I tell you what is on my full TBR. Now when I did this last year I had nearly um, just over 400 books. Thanks to the challenge that I did with Olivia I am now down to 252 which also includes my graphic novels and my canvas hardbacks which are technically on my TBR even though they are books that I have read before and are kind of rereads. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually moving my TBR from downstairs back upstairs because there is now space upstairs for me to do that. They're coming back onto this shelf this is going to become my full owned TBR as this is the room that I tend to work the most so it's nice to have it nearby but I will have what I'm currently reading downstairs on a trolley so that I'm not having to come up and downstairs and I can just read downstairs but I've got my full owned TBR out of the way. It also means that Zach can now put his Lego downstairs which he's very excited about because it was going to go on this shelf but I've commandeered it again because I do that. So essentially I'm not going to go through the plot of any of these books because who has the time? But I will tell you who it's by and who gifted it to me if it was gifted because I have a very special project that I want to do with the gifted books this year. So if you've been tagged, keep an eye out for that because I'm doing something special with the book you gifted me. Anyway, enough preamble. These are my books, my full owned TBR. Okay, the hair has gone up because this is going to be tiresome work, but I left it out for the intro because the curl is doing a curl today that I very much enjoy. I'm not going to put them in an order that will make sense to you um, because I want to keep gifted books aside for a specific reason. Hardbacks will fit on this shelf. I'm not going to do them alphabetically because I'm also going to put books down below that... I'm not as keen to read right now which you'll understand because a couple of these are Christmas themed so I will read them to you alphabetically because that's satisfying but I'm not going to put them on the shelf alphabetically so you should also expect to see lots of these fall over and I'm really tempted to just do an entire outtakes bit of every single time the books fall over because they will it's what they do <laughs> so I have 101 horror books to Read Before You're Murdered by Sadie, Mother of Horror Hartman. This is a non-fiction about all the horrors that I should be reading. I put this on my wish list and this was gifted to me by Fee Donahue, who came and met me at the Booktube Meets event. So thank you very much, Fee. I'm really looking forward to get to this one. A Down Home Meal for These Difficult Times by Meron Hadero. A Fatal Crossing by Tom Hindle. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Liver Bray. A Lot Like Adios by Alexis Daria, which is the second in a series. A Merry Little Meat Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. A Million to One by Adiba Jegadar. A Secret of Birds and Bones by Kira Millwald Hargrave. A Spell of Good Things by Ayabami Adebayo. A Taste of Iron and Gold by Alexandra Rowland. Alice Austin Lived Here by Alex Gino. All American Girl and All American Girl Ready or Not by Meg Cabot. Always Take Notes by Simon Acam and Rachel Lloyd. An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan, which is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. And Break the Pretty Kings by Lena Zhang. Angel Volume 1, Parallel Hell. Babel by R.F. Kuang, which I started in October of 2022 and then, because I was tabbing it for Gothtober, ran out of time and then didn't dedicate any time to it in 2023 and that's on me because I've started it. I've started a whole thing. Haven't finished it yet though. Because I Don't Know What You Mean and What You Don't by Josie Long. Becky by Sarah May. Belladonna, which I started because I'm buddy reading with Lizzie and Foxglove by Adeline Grace. Billy No Mates by Max Dickens. Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. Blood and Moonlight by Erin Beatty. Brand New Verse, a Firefly novel by Josh Lee Gordon, Fabiana Mascalo, and Lucia Di Gamarino. I hope I got that right, sorry. Briefly, A Delicious Life by Nell Stevens. Buffy 97 by Jeremy Lambert. And Buffy Vampire Slayer Hellmouth, which was gifted to me by Olivia. So thank you, Olivia. Catty Wampus by Ash Van Otterloo, which was gifted to me by Becca from Becca's Book Sanctum for my birthday. So thank you very much, Becca. Certain Dark Things by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, which is one of the books we'll be reading for Gothic Along this year. Cherish Farah, which is a book gifted to me from Olivia for last birthday. So thank you very much, Olivia. Chinese Fairy Tales and Legends by Richard Wilhelm. Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. Come and Get It by Kylie Reed. Call for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. Craft in the Real World by Matthew Celestes. Crescent City, A House of Flame and Shadow, which is just obnoxious. But a treat for myself on my birthday. And Crossing by Pashtim Statopshvi. Or something to that effect. Sorry. <laughs> Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Death Note, the Black Edition, which is too shiny for this light, <laughs> uh, volumes two to six, because I did manage to read volume one last year, but that was it. 
I'll get to the rest this year, I promise. Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, which was gifted to me by Lamia from Becca's Discord, so thank you, Lamia. Disarmed and Striking Distance, Fence Novels by Sarah Brennan. And Divine Might by Natalie Haynes. This is the last this is the last Natalie Haynes that I've got left to read, and it's a special edition. So very excited to get to this one. Alazzo by Darcy Little Badger, which I think was gifted to me by Celine or Abby, but I don't have a note with this. I don't know if a note came at the time or if I found out at the time, but it doesn't have a note now. And usually I stick all the notes in so I don't lose them. I just know this was gifted to me. So thank you to whoever this was from. My Canvas Edition of Emma by Jane Austen. Escape Room by Christopher Edge. Felix Ever After by Casey Callender. Fence Volume 5 Rise. Fire Study, Shadow Study, Night Study and Dawn Study by Maria B. Snyder because I am currently rereading this series. I really really love the fairy loot copies that came out and apparently there are going to be a new fresh covers of the first three so I'm tempted to annotate them I'll be honest. Five Survive by Holly Jackson. Fortuna Sworn, Restless Slumber and Deadly Dreams by KJ Sutton. Foul Lady Fortune and Foul Haunt Huntsman by Chloe Gong, which this one I have started. As you can see, I've tabbed it because I'm annotating it. I'm also buddy reading this with Zach, and then we will probably buddy read this one as well. Frontier and Floating Hotel by Grace Curtis. This is an arc that I re very recently received because it comes out in March. So thank you very much, Hot Escape, for that. And then Fury Born, Kingsbane and Lightbringer by Claire Legrand, which I was super excited to read when I first got them, especially because Fury Born comes with Deckled Edges. Fury Born was gifted to me by my mum I think years ago um, and I think like 2021, 2020 and I bought the hardback specifically because I wanted them all as a set. I then read Extasia and hated it and since having read Saw Kill Girls, nervous about picking up these because I love Saw Kill Girls but I hated Extasia so now I'm nervous. Now I'm really nervous. Gilded by Marissa Meyer. Girl Logic by Eliza Schlesinger. This was gifted to me by my sister-in-law Deanna years ago thank you glory by no violet bulawayo glutton by ed gamble go hunt me by kelly devos god killer by hannah kana and this is the wars of stones edition god slayers by zoe hannah makuta which is the second in the duology of uh what are they called gear breakers heartstopper volume 5 by alice oseman hedge witch by sky mckenna hellbent by lee bardugo which is the second in the ninth house duology hide by kirsten white honest by lucia Pacino. How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot. How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao, which was also gifted to me by either Celine or Abby. Again, I'm really sorry, I can't remember who gifted this to me. Once again, no note. We have the first casualty. I have broken a nail in an attempt to do my complete own TBR. And I'm really annoyed because my nails are actually going in quite nicely. So, RIP. I've got the complete Alice Oseman box set, which includes I Was Born For This, Loveless, and Radio Silence. I've already read Solitaire, but I might reread it if I end up doing a vlog of some kind. I'm Sorry You Feel That Way by Rebecca Waite, which was gifted to me by Zach, and is not pointed in any way. Idol Burning by Rin Usami. In These Hallowed Halls, which is a Dark Academia um, anthology. Invisible Woman by Caroline Criado Perez. Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan, which was gifted to me by Celine. Thank you, Celine. James Acaster's Guide to Quitting Social Media by James Acaster and was gifted to me by Hannah from The Bookworms Feast. Thank you very much, Hannah. Jinx by Meg Cabot. Just Ignore Him by Ellen Davis. Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. And Just Your Local by Sexual Disaster by Andrea Mosquita. Lady Macbethad by Isabel Schuler. Lake Law by Anna Marie McLemore, but again, doesn't have a note, so I don't know who gifted this to me. But if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be really helpful. Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe, which was gifted to me by Abby. Thank you, Abby. Last Violent Call by Chloe Gong. Learwife by J.R. Thorpe. Like a Curse by Elle McNichol. Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Laura Olympus, Volume 2 to 4, and 5 should be arriving very soon. Loathe to Love You and Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. And again, Checkmate is in the post, as is Bride by Ali Hazelwood. But they're not technically on my own TBR yet, because, you know, they're not here, so they don't count yet. Mad and Bad, Real Heroines of the Regency by Bay Kosh. Mayfly by CJ Leeds, which I think is the ugliest cover I've ever seen in my life. Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. Melissa by Alex Gino, which is technically a reread because I read it under its dead name, George. Midnight Moon by Jean Montague, which I think we are all surprised made it the culling of last year. I just didn't pick it up. I'm still terrified of picking it up. I want to read it because I loved it the first time, but I'm, terri I'm terrified it's going to be bad, but I feel like it's going to be like Bridgerton level bad. Mort by Terry Pratchett, which was gifted to me by Kieran. 
My Roommate is a Vampire, which was gifted to me by Deanna, my sister-in-law, and Becca from Becca Book Sanctum. So I have two copies of this. I am so sorry that my wishlist did you dirty like that. I, you must have ordered it around the same time that it didn't update, because usually it automatically updates so that you guys can't buy something that someone else has bought and then I can delete it later. I am going to keep both copies for now, um, at least for the project, and then I might do something special with one of them and keep the other one pristine for later. Um, but yeah, so I have two copies of this. <laughs> Mythology, which is an eyewitness companion by Philip Wilkinson and Neil Philip. Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. Odds One Out by Nick Stone. Out of the Blue by Jason June. Out of the Sun by Essie Edugyan. Edugyan? Edugyan? I tried. Out There Screaming by Jordan Peele, which was gifted to me by Olivia for my birthday, so thank you very much, Olivia. Over Emotional by David Fenn. Oxygen Mask by Jason Reynolds. Pants on Fire by Meg Cabot. Partners in Crime by Alicia Ray. People Person by Candace Carty Williams. Promise Boys by Nick Brooks. Read Screen Repeat by Jennifer Killick. Red Seas Under Red Skies and The Republic of Thieves, which are technically both rereads by Scott Lynch. Well, they're rereads for me, but they're written by Scott Lynch. <laughs> Reputation and Infamous by Lex Croucher. Rise Up, The Story So Far by Stormzy. Rapunzella or Don't Touch My Hair by Ella McLeod. Sailor Moon, Volume 2 and 3. Santa's in the Canvas Copy by Jane Austen. Shakespeare for Grown Ups by E. Foley and B. Coates. Shanghai Immortal by A.O. Chow. She Went All the Way by Meg Cabot. She's Too Pretty to Burn by Wendy Hurd, which was gifted to me by Jamie, so thank you, Jamie. Signal to Noise by Silver, by Silver Mela Garcia, which we're also reading for the Gothic along this year. Silver Under Nightfall by Ren Chapeco, which was gifted to me by Becca. Thanks again, Becca. Skullduggery Pleasant Bad Magic by Derek Landy. Soul Music by Terry Pratchett, which was gifted to me by Deanna, my sister-in-law. Spy Family Volume 2 and 3. Stay Gold by Tolby Smith. Straight On Till Morning by KJ Sutton, which was gifted to me by Becca from Becca and the Books. A Stranger Things novel Flight of Icarus by Caitlin Schneiderham. And Subscribed by Tian Zhao. The Appeal by Janice Hallett. The Audacity by Catherine Ryan. The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams, which was gifted to me by Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams, which was gifted to me by Hannah from the book Guam's Feast. The Christmasaurus by Tom Fletcher, which is another Christmas one that I won't be picking up until December. The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. That's a shelf filled. Worrying. Still so many to go. The Coward by Jared McGuinness. The Dance Tree by Kira Mowald Hargraves. The Dark Lady by Akala. The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. The Fifth Elephant by Terry Pratchett, which was gifted to me by Kieran. Thank you, Kieran. The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. The Flames of Albion by Jean Mingus. The Foundling by Stacey Halls, which was also gifted to me by Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. The Grip of Film by Richard Ayoade. The Hacienda by Isabel Cunez. The Haunting of Hill House by... Who is this by? Shirley Jackson, obviously. The Hollow Heart by Marie Rotoski. The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. The Last Devil to Die by Richard Oseman, which is the Waterstones edition. The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes. The Love Curse of Melody McIntyre by Robin Talley, which was gifted to me by Olivia. Again, thanks Olivia. The Luminaries by Susan Dunnard. The Mediator series, I've got The Grave Doubts and Heaven Sent Left. Um, these are both by Meg Cabot. The Naked Jape by Jimmy Carr and Lucy Greaves. The Nickel Boys by Carlson Whitehead. The Night Ship by Jess Kidd. The Night Watch by Terry Pratchett, which was gifted to me by Kieran. The Office of Historical Corrections by Danielle Evans. The Power of Hades by Eliza Rain and Rose Wilson, which was gifted to me by Sophie from Becca's Discord. So thank you, Sophie. And I have the complete Princess Diaries collection, which I had every intention of reading. And then I saw some of the clips from Gavin's vlog. And I think I'm going to need to give myself some time and space from these because I really want to enjoy them. But I don't know how ready I am for how problematic they're going to be. The Reformatory by Tanarif Dew. The Sad Ghost Club, volume two and three by Liza Meddings. The Secret Sunshine Project by Benjamin Dean. The Silver Chain by Gion uh, Giovanni. The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly. The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. The Tainted Cup by Robin Jackson Bennett. The Vampire Slayer by Sarah Gailey. The Vanishing of Avalyn Jones, which I have started and is by Phil Hicks. The Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana, which was gifted to me by my sister-in-law, Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. The Whirling Trilogy by Stephen Cole, of which I have started the first one. The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrews. Volume 2 and 3 by The Wicked and the Divine, which were both gifted to me by Becca from Becca's Book Sanctum. Thank you, Becca. The Wicked Remain by Laura Paul. 
which is the sequel to The Grim Rose Girls. The Witches of Eastwick by John Updike. And then I have the last three in the Worst Witch series. I've been slowly but surely working my way through this. Um, I'm not wrapping them up until I've finished all of them because they're quite short. But I have The Worst Witch to the Rescue, The Worst Witch and the Vanishing Star, and the First Prize for the Worst Witch left to go. Sorry for the change in light. It got really, really dark and the big light is all I've got up here at the moment. So I know, I'm sorry. Um, the Teen Titans Robin by Cami Garcia and Gabrielle Piccolo. These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, which I think was gifted to me by Jamie, but again, if you could put a comment down below if you know, because I can't remember and it doesn't have a note. This Time Will Be Different by Misa Segura. Three Fires by Denise Mina. To Cage a God by Elizabeth May. Unlikable Female Characters by Anna Bogutskaya. Bogutskaya? I hope I got that right. Um, the Women of Pop Culture That They Want You To Hate. Velvet Was The Night by Silver Mena Garcia, another one for Gothic Along. Victoria and the Rogue by Mega Bow. Violet Love Volume 2 by Frank J. Barbare. Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Well That Was Unexpected by Jessie Q. Santanto. Wench by Maxine Kaplan, which was gifted to me by Abby. Thank you, Abby. What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. When I Was the Greatest by Jason Reynolds. Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angeles, which I believe was gifted to me by Kelly. So thank you, Kelly. Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. Win Chelsea by Alex Preston. Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. Wish You Weren't Here and Out of Service by Gabby Hutchinson Crouch, who is the same author that did the Darkwood trilogy and writes for Horrible Histories, would absolutely recommend and I've not even read them yet. With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Wranglestone and Timber Dark by Darren Charlton. Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucia. Yellowface by RF Kwong. Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi, which was also gifted to me by my sister-in-law. Thank you, Deanna. And finally, the last book on my own TBR, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Love by Akwe Kiyomezi. Now I get to go lie down. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired. I knew I'd be exhausted. I am so tired. And it's so warm. And this was such a lot, but I'm gonna do a quick little pan of the TBR shelf um, and the stack of books that are next to me and why they're next to me. So just to clarify, this is the books that are currently in my TBR I am currently reading or have started and therefore they're going back downstairs, as are these because these are gothic along ones and then these ones in the middle, all of these are books that have been gifted to me and therefore are going to be part of a secret project. So not so secret anymore. But it was kind of secret to begin with. So there you have it, my full own TBR. If you've got a book on here that you think I should prioritise, leave it in the comments down below. If you just want to let me know you were here, feel free to leave a little book stack. Treat yourself to something from Waypoint because it supports me and my content. Check out all the links down below because there's a Patreon now. And most importantly, have a nice day. All American Girl Ready or Not by Meg Cabot. There's one. I then read Ecstasia and hated it. Ooh. There goes another one. How to be popular by Meg Cabot. In these hallowed halls, which is a dark. If you could not. Out of the blue by Jason June. Genuinely amazed those didn't fall on my head.